what's going on everyone so today we're gonna deliver some quail to my friend or the neighbor because i promised her some quail from last year so let's go Okay, we gotta put them in this bucket because this box is too small and I don't have any bigger box. So far, we have two. Here you go. We gotta put catch the Okay, this is it. That's it. There they are, 25, 12, ready to be delivered. I know that the box or the bucket is pretty small and it's pretty cramped because we are gonna go down here it's pretty much down the street uh, it's only like two three minute drive so it's gonna be quick so therefore no animals gonna be harming this uh, video okay. all right we are here Oh, Those are babies, right. so cute. They're little babies, but they grow to be almost as big as you. Yeah. Cái này giờ chị phải bỏ một giấy hả em? Không, chị bỏ ngoài chưa cũng được. Rồi cái bỏ cái điện chưa? Đó, thì có chuồng đẻ không? Wow. So that's her coop. That's a big fancy coop for the quail. It's much better than mine. <laughs> so, she's got the heat lamp and the food and all the water is ready. So she decided she didn't want to leave the quail out into the coop on a pen for now because they're still so small. Uh, so we put it into a bigger bin and we put food and water into there for them. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of her house. So in front here, you can see she has some strawberry in the pot. And then that is cilantro and a lot of cilantro. And here we have the aloe vera. So this, she just put it in. So it looked kind of purple because it's trying to get accustomed to the weather and the sun. So basically the aloe vera is that she dig it up in the winter and then bring it inside and overwinter it. Then during spring she put it out. And check out this giant green mustard right here. This patch is amazing. And this is what I'm trying to achieve at my garden as well this year. And here is some persimmon and the tree is pretty much is loaded with fruit right now. So here as we walk up to the step of the house, as you can see there is lettuce that is planted on the side and she tried to maximize as much of her space as possible right here. 
Then over here, this bin is pretty much uh, the ceiling for bitter melon that you're going to put down later on. And she got a rows of coins right here that is coming up. And then you can see here, this is the grapevine right here that I gave her a few years ago, and it is growing very aggressively and it's putting out a lot of flowers as well. And then, as you see this here, it is highly intense of growing lettuce right here. And this method of highly intensive planting is very effective because it pretty much shade out all the weeds so, and you don't have to spend a lot of time maintaining the weeds and try to pull it out. And I just love her lettuce beds. There's like unlimited lettuce that you can have and you never run out. And this is pretty much I'm trying to achieve on my garden as well. And here it is the mustard green that is going to flower and she's going to save that for seeds for next year. And over here on the left that is the sweet potato leaves and you eat this like spinach and there is a spinach patch right there. And pretty much the backyard is still bare because there's no summer stuff that's going in yet. And here we have some corn and this is the trellis for the loofah and the gore. And this is the bitter melon. And all the way in the back of her yard, she have a Asian pear, which is loaded with fruit right now. And she also have a tiny jujube right here that's growing. And the backs against the fence is a grapevine. And I think this is the Concord grape that she mentioned. And it is putting out a lot of flowers right here. And in this section is pretty much some Asian mints and a lot of them because we eat a lot of mints. And here against the wall is the cucumber wall. And she was so kind to offer me some lettuce. So right now we're picking some lettuce for me to go. So there it is, the box of lettuce. And she also gave me some aloe vera as well and some mint. And of course, I couldn't leave without the green mustard. And she packed it a lot. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now I'm going to go and plant this giant aloe vera right now. So I'll see you guys later. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe.